all you glorious people of the world, Chelsea Chi here, back once again with Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. In the last one, we finally completed Chapter 2. We defeated Lord Crump, and we got our second Crystal Star. So, uh, I'm gonna be a dummy and not save, but let's see what's happening with Princess Peach. Oh. What? Save that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Swa. <laughs> sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. You already did enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Um, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x Not. What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. I like their little X symbol that they make on their chest. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> With his little clipboard. Mario, I loathe you. Loathe is also a pretty big word for this game. I didn't really know it meant hate back then. Oh, Mario. Did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Well... I could take another shower and make my hair all cute again, but I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Oh, is this text doing again? So we'll just go see what tech wants as I clickety clack down the hall. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexcusable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together? It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, 
Wait just a minute. What, what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? <laughs> She's so speechless. Oh, alright I guess. I must say though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. Let's see how well this will work. I'm glad it's only three buttons. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be more, so I'm glad that's good. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse, I feel, the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach. I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? I've got a hair in my face. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. That computer voice always makes my throat real dry. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. How do you even know it's nighttime? We're in some type of laboratory. No, I will still continue not to save. At least that peach didn't take nearly as long. Now, possibly, I can do Bowser's as well. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. My nasally voice is almost computory. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good. Yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. These little segments I really like. Ready to roll. I got infinite lives, baby. Aw, uh, yeah. I made it to the castle. Aw, uh, yeah. Those parts are always really fun. And you get little meat that makes you bigger instead of mushrooms. Oh, hey! 
Welcome to Pet Ober again. Eek! Hide everyone! Hide! Huh, what a wuss. Yes, hide chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Over where? Oh, <laughs> Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. <laughs> now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. Wehehe. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know. No! My, uh, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. <laughs> Bowser's face. <laughs> P poster. Oh my goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge, mighty king of guys who talk to posters. <laughs> Poor Bowser. No, I will continue to be a dum dum. Whew. Now we should be back to Mario. With all these punies. Ugh. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done, especially since I'm a man now. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son. Now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontification, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh... This shan't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta. See you, Mr. Mario. Bye, guys. It was lovely being with you all. But now it's time to head back and see where the next crystal star is. And then townly duties will have to happen in the next video. Uh oh. That always scares me. <laughs> oh, mercy me. Sounds like some mail. <laughs> Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon, Princess Peach. Isn't that precious, Mario? It is. She's so sweet. Alright, time to get out of here. I, I don't want you around. Leave me alone. Okay. Whew. Alright. I don't think I'll make it to the fortune teller. 
because we're right by where we need to go. So that will have to happen with townly duties now. Ooh. I didn't see that before. So I could have gotten this a long time ago. Damage dodge! Alright. Nothing in the corner? Nope. Okay. Time to head back out of here. Probably have to attack these guys so they don't... Whoops! Bother me! One star point, yeah! Here we go. Do these guys have four health? No, they have three. That's why it's taking me two hits to kill them. I was wondering why. <laughs> One star point, yeah! Okay, what I did want to do was there's this mysterious paper here that I'm sure I could blow away. Oh, I'm not gonna get a thing for it. A burner! Happy heart for my partner. I have so many badges and not enough badge points for them all. It's crazy. There is another thing. Hmm. That looked like it could be blown away. I guess I'll come across it later, whenever I need to. Alright. Back on the magic pedestal of goodness. Let's see what happens. Now, my little Mario, it's crystal star time. Indeed it is. Let's see where the next one happens to be. in the sky. It's like floating with a little chain chomp. And we have this kind of orange color. This golden orange color. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My my my. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Well, only one way to find out. I'm never going to remember Professor Frankly's voice, but I will always try my best to. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. I think that's his voice. We'll find out. Close your book. Yep. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we must have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just deaf, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not. N not I didn't have a little thing, so I didn't know I could go. Hmm. That's not what. I don't know! <laughs> Frankly, please. I am sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what was it that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll make an... Well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. 
In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So, are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Roadport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is, all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Roadport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. So, that's what we must do. However, that will happen in the next episode, while we do our townly duties as well. Um, this one was a bit long, a bit talky, but we got through a lot of stuff. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough, or my soft walkthrough, whichever you want it to be called. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!